William Hume Grundy was born on December 12, 1836. He was the third child of Edmund Grundy and Rebecca Hume Grundy. His father was from England and arrived in Philadelphia around 1820. His mother, Rebecca, was part of the Hume family from Humeville. William was born in Philadelphia and resided there much of his early life. When his father retired from business in 1856, he settled full-time at their newly rebuilt estate, Walnut Grove, which was located along the Neshamne Creek in Bristol Township. William stayed with his family there for a short while and would often travel back and forth from Philadelphia to Walnut Grove. In 1860, he was residing in the 12th Ward of Philadelphia. We were able to locate an 1860 census that shows his residence. In 1853, Hume had his future wife, Mary Lamb Ridgway, through his sister, Susan Hume Grundy Harrison. Mary and Susan attended the same boarding school. William and Mary courted for several years and were eventually married on September 27, 1860, Mary's 22nd birthday. The young couple lived in New Jersey and had their first child, Joseph Ridgway Grundy, in Camden, New Jersey. Their second child, Margaret Ridgway Grundy, was born at Mary's family farm in Pine Grove, New Jersey, which is in Burlington Township. The family eventually returned to Philadelphia, where William started a woolen mill with his brother, Ned Edwin, Edmund Netherwood Grundy, and his business partner, Richard Cambion. In 1876, the mill, Grundy Brothers and Cambion, moved their operations to Bristol. Sadly, Edmund died in 1884, and tragedy would strike again in 1893 when William died. October 31st found William returning home to Bristol in the evening after attending a meeting at the Manufacturers Club in Philadelphia. He had taken ill around 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. that night and was moved to the upstairs of his house. A doctor was sent for, and William seemed to briefly rally. According to the newspaper obituaries, he was then seized with another attack and died. His death was tributed to apoplexy, most likely a stroke. The date of William's death was given as both October 31st and November 1st, depending on the publishing newspaper. William's death was officially attributed to October 31st and is inscribed as such on his headstone. William is buried in his family's plot at Beechwood Cemetery. William's death was very sudden and was mourned not only by his family, but throughout the various associations he was a member, by his employees and throughout his profession. As quoted, beautiful flowers, the last tokens of living friends and relatives filled the rooms. The members of the Manufacturers Club of Philadelphia, in which William was one of the founders, expressed their sorrow after hearing the news of his death. A leather-bound memorial booklet was published in his honor on November 1st, 1893. As quoted, the board of directors of the Manufacturers Club of Philadelphia has heard with feelings of deep regret the sad news of the sudden death of director William H. Grundy upon the night of October 31st. The board desires to express its keen sense of the loss sustained by the club through the removal of one of the most useful, active, and popular of its members. The Philadelphia Board of Trade, dated November 21, 1893, honored William as well. His readiness to take an active part in matters for the advancement of the welfare of the nation, state, and city showed a devotion to the public interest which is worthy of emulation by all good citizens.